This video demonstrates how to create a voice thread assignment for your course. So first on um, Blackboard, go to the plus sign and let's create a content area. So I'm going to call it module for now and make it available to learners. So now I have this module page. So I'm going to click on modules and then I'll see these options here. So under build content, scroll up a little bit so you can see options here. Click on voice thread course view, okay? And then you'll be asked to provide a name. So I'm going to call it self introduction. And here you can provide more instruction, but right now let's leave it blank. And you can enable evaluation, meaning if students complete the assignment, they get graded. Um, I can put a tentative point of two. This entry will be entered into the gradebook. Options, use whatever the default is, click Submit. Okay, now I have this link here. So I'm going to click on Self Introduction again. Then it will take me to the VoiceThread interface. Here, there's nothing yet. Um, unless you have done several voice thread before, then you can pick and choose from here. Uh, assuming you're a brand new user to voice thread, so you're going to click create from the lower right. And from here, you can now choose adding a media like a map or a graphic or a PowerPoint from your computer and upload that to your voice thread. So I'm going to use a word map. I, I like to do an exercise asking my student where they are from. So I'm going to click open and this word map will be here. Okay, so now it's been uploaded and now I can comment, provide instruction. So I'm going to give it, give this voice thread a title. So again, self-introduction, and maybe put the course number. So as you create more voice thread for different courses, you know which one's for which. So now I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to provide instruction. So from here, I can record for, uh, using camcorder or using microphone. So I'm going to try the microphone for now. And it will ask you to allow access to the microphone on your computer. Say allow. OK, now I can talk. So as I talk, I can introduce myself. I can also use the pencil tool on the lower right corner to highlight where I am now and where I'm from originally. OK, I'm done talking. Stop talk. I can introduce myself. I can also use the pencil. So click the Stop Recording, and then you can preview this. If it's OK, click Save. Now it's all saved there. Let's go back to see what will students see. So go back to, all right, now I'm going to, OK, this is my creating window. But when I move to Blackboard, there's still nothing under my course. So I'm going to all my voice thread list. And then scroll down. I will see the most recent one, Self Introduction CID. So click on it. You will see the yellow highlight around this. And on the upper right corner, it says Shared. That means this voice thread video has been shared under your course. So uh, that's all you need to do. So let's go back and check again. I'm going to click on modules, back to my own course, and when I click on self introduction, student will see this. So they can click on this, and everyone in your class will be able to click on a plus sign to send a video comment. Talk, I can. And without having to log in separately. Once they log in the Blackboard, their identity is shared with VoiceThread. And so they can click on this plus sign. They can enter comment through text or microphone, camcorder, or they can upload their own video, or they can phone in. That's all. OK, I'm going to quit this. Good luck.